Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. It's day 37 of my 100 day challenge. And I feel like we're kind of getting to, you know, the serious part of this where uh, we got to watch it like it's it's coming. You know, the the tougher enemies, they are approaching. We have some things we can sell here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean out our inventory a little bit. Um, definitely don't need a militia spear. And I don't need a crappy wooden flail or that one either for that matter. Um, let's see. I think I'm okay with everything else. Now, I do want to buy tools. We're down to 48 and this is a pretty good price. It's often very difficult to find them at a good price. So we'll just kind of stock up. And as long as I'm blowing money like water, I'm going to grab that bow because I know we still have one guy who's using a stupid short bow. And now we're good. Now all three of our guys have the hunting bow, which is better. 40 to 60 damage versus 30 to 50 and doesn't it also have no it's the same range it is the same range but more damage is good it's always hard to push through enough damage with one of these things i'll go ahead and sell that one i'll keep this just in case i find a recruit who for some reason you know would use a bow and now i've spent a crap ton of money so what we're going to do is we're going to come back down here there were two quests there that I was perfectly happy to take. I just wanted to see if I could get an archer first. So hopefully they'll both still be available and we can kind of reload on our money. I also have a bunch of trade goods to sell. I just wasn't getting good uh, prices offered to me here. So, okay, uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do it. And where is this place? Northeast. There it is. The little banner was hiding it. So that's fine. I think the nighttime is going to be a little off-putting. I'm probably going to end up having to camp for a short time. Um, let's see if we get any intel at all. Absolutely none. <laughs> all right. Let's camp really quick. All right. It's dawn. So, oh, wait a minute. A few marksmen and many raiders. All right, so this is going to be a tough fight. Well, then it's a tough fight. And a leader. Okay. It's good news, bad news. I mean, the leader should have gear, you know, that we really want. And then the bad news is that... Um, they're tough. <laughs> um, do I, I think I want to come back at least this far. I'm trying to think what would be a good place to fall back to. Trying to get away from their fortifications. They're a real pain with the archers. Mm-hmm. Now I'm pausing or waiting when I when I get back here rather than just ending the turn straight up. Um just in case, but it looks like that's as far as these guys can go, so I guess I'll start ending the turns once I'm back here. If some of my guys can't move, then effectively I don't want any of my guys to move. That's kind of where we're at. good news is I don't think we're going to take any shots from the archers because they're crossbows and I'm pretty sure they'd have to move up. Um, but it, it is possible that before I get all of these guys back, they could get tagged. But of course, as each guy moves back, that starts to feel less likely.
All right. So the more they just kind of dirtle around and move, some guys move forward and some guys move back. That's awesome for us. All right, that's less awesome. <laughs> All right, no way. I, I don't think I'm moving back again. So I'm just going to go ahead and chill. Is that the leader? Arn Fourfingers. He has Recover and Rotation. Brawny Sergeant. Executioner. Nine Lives. Shield Expert and Sundering Strikes. So if I try to break his shield, that would not be easy. All right, well, meanwhile, I have guys I need to kill. Can I hit this idiot? Because I feel like the quicker I take out these crossbows, the better. That's a good start. No freaking lie. All right, so I can have 38% if I do a regular shot or 62 if I go aimed. I think I'm going to go aimed here. That's awesome. To take out one of their marksmen before they ever get a shot off. Man, that is living the dream. Hey, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure. Sometimes I have a hard time seeing like, wait, is that two spaces away or one space? And one thing I wish this game had, even if it would snap back, like if it would just let me rotate the map 90 degrees for a second, you know? That would be really nice. But it doesn't, so... Uh, I'm just going to rest this turn. I, I may regret that if they... Okay, now it's not letting me do it. There we go. All right. Now, you're the, the obvious exception. Doesn't look like you're going to get a uh, aim shot anywhere near them. So, uh, wow, 22%, 29%. And that's, that's with aimed. That's with, with a regular shot... Five and nine percent. Is this the new hunter? Yeah, that's why. Poor guy needs to level up a few times. Uh, okay. That could be a slow process. Well, let's just take his best aim shot. All right. I mean, it is what it is. I still feel good about killing one of the crossbows. But they still have two on their feet. So. Um, well, we're definitely going to just have to wait now. Since we already have one guy up on us. 38% and he... Why is... Hold on a second. Why is this guy so good on his defense? That's really weird to me. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to try to break a shield because we got to be able to hit this guy. All right, I'm going to wait. I may move up and take a hit here, but I don't want to screw myself up for later. All right, now he doesn't have to, so... I should have used shield wall last turn. What was I thinking? That was really foolish. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Let me, um, I, I meant spear wall, by the way. So when this guy went up, he would have gone right into it. And I just didn't. All right, well, at least we started on his armor. Alright, can you hit him? Yes. And a, I just have such a poor shot. But I think I'll just... I'm going to wait and see if any of these dudes move closer. Oh, God. Alright, good. Alright. I'll take the aim shot. It's so crap. Yeah. All right, 
I mean, at least I got started on one of them again. Like, you know, the next one, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right. I hate wrecking all this Raider armor. I know some of these guys are wearing 110. I can never tell the difference between, oh God, he wrecked my shield. Listen, I wreck your shields. You don't wreck my shield. You understand? All right. Well, we didn't do great against him, but we really trashed his armor. So I'll take that. Okay. Now we're doing some work on him. All right. Okay. So I had kind of been holding him. I'm not going to move here because that's giving that guy the high ground, but do I want to do that? I, I feel like I kind of have to. I almost want to try to stun him. Hmm. Didn't work. Okay. Um, oh, man. It's such a poor chance. I'll go for him. And if I miss, I might get one of them. It's, yeah, just incredibly low chance to hit, so... Sooner or later, their crossbows are actually going to connect, and that's going to be really bad for me. Oh, God. Yeah, these things are scary. Anybody wielding the two-handers? I need to try and kill this guy as fast as I can and then get him back, because without a shield, it's rough, man. All right. Come on, you guys. What's my aim? Now, it's not, it's not enough of a bonus to make it worth doing. All right, come on. Get him one more time. Sweet. So we're down to just one crossbow. And it they have guys with two-handers, so there's plenty of dangerous dudes. But at least I'm not seeing anybody else with thrown, thrown weapons. Because um, we've been fighting a lot of that. <sighs> I think I'm just going to chill here. All right, come on, man. I need you to do some good work here. I don't have the greatest chance to hit. Yeah. What is up with him? His aim is 60. I thought I had fixed it where only my best, you know, aim guys were um, using the two-handers. But it feels like, you know, that's not where I'm at right now. He, I did see he had a penalty from wavering and maybe the 60 was adjusted. I, I don't know. I don't think that's how it works when it shows it to you. This guy's behind a shield wall. I have a 38%. I just have to take it though. I can't sit here and go, oh, well, it's going to be hard to hit. So I sure wish I'd have gotten that one. We could have wrecked the morale for all these guys. Okay. Excellent. I wouldn't say it wrecked it, but I did at least make the one guy wavering. That, that other guy was already wavering, I think. So two steady and two wavering on this line. The leader is wavering. That's interesting. Uh, this guy is wavering. I mean, I can't blame him. He's beat up pretty badly. I think I'm going to have to move up here. These guys are all using, you know, range two weapons. They're not going to come to me. All right. We're going to take this shot. Nice. I don't know if I should have him move up. He's in pretty rough shape. His armor has gone. Half his health is gone. I hate to say it. I think he's done. We don't want to start losing people. Yeah, Bertolf is like level four or five too. Okay, good. Come on. I feel like we've been working on this guy a lot longer than we should have. Not. Oh God. Hmm. So with this guy. I mean, the only thing I want to do is dagger him down. The last thing I want to do is um, start wrecking his gear. Why can't they shield well? Because uh, they did that the first thing this turn. 
Okay, that's why. So I'm tempted to try to knock him back, but what good does that actually do me? I can't move after I do it, and he'll just take another step up. I guess it would keep him from attacking twice next turn, but it's going to take me to 45. I'll be at like 30 fatigue next turn. Right, I'll do it. Now I missed anyway, so talk about a waste. <laughs> All that, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> and then it's like, meh. So, in hindsight, I guess I should have just gotten some, some stamina back. Okay. Um, I definitely need to move up with him. Question is, do I want to come here? I think I do. Um, yeah, that'll keep me out of that guy's range. I guess I want to go for this dude, although I kind of want to go here. 38%, 73%, yeah. Oh man, we're so close. At least he's running now. Can I hit this guy? I have to try. Yeah, and that's the beauty. I love it when, okay, I missed, but I still hit one of their guys that I want dead. I mean, I'd rather hit the guy, don't get me wrong. Okay. I don't like moving where he's got the high ground on me, but I have to start getting rid of that guy if I can. Oh, come on. All right. You chill. Once the crossbow's dead, I'm probably going to move him up for, like, just if I need him in certain situations. All right. 7%, I'm not going to take that shot. Wow. He is not great, Otmar. Do I have any chance to hit this guy? Yeah. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. need to kill this fool. I think what I'm going to do is next turn I'll use his axe to try and... Let me do this. Alright, never mind. I don't need to worry about it anymore. I got a shield wall, man. I've got to. It's the only way he has a chance to stay alive against this guy. And I really need to finish some of these guys off. Oh, I can't. I can't go there. Because uh, we need to get more help up here. Also, it'll help break his morale. And make his aim worse and stuff. Oh, come on. Man, this guy's beat up. I don't like that. I don't want him dying. Maybe I can... Um, I think I can rotate him out. Okay, I need to wait on him. Here we go. Oh, you know. Oh, I can't. I can't attack again. Okay. Thank God. The marksman's ready to run. I'd still rather kill him, though. Beautiful. I love the effect it has on morale. Um, nice. Two kills in one turn for Sigurd. And, wait, it's not Sigurd. His turn just started. <laughs> whoever whoever went last. <laughs> I don't know who it was. Alright, two misses for him. So, let me think here. Has this guy already gone? I feel like he did. I can... I just have to wait, basically, because if I move this guy here, I can rotate them. But I, I don't want to rotate with this guy because he doesn't have a shield. Let me take one attack. And then I'm going to wait because I may have to use shield wall. Um, 
Hold on. Where's this guy? Okay, he's there. He won't be able to move. That guy won't be able to move. Okay, this is the dude we want. So he can spend points to come here and then rotate. I'm going to do that. Okay, so this guy can just attack. So why don't I come here? And we'll attack this guy. And then same here. Oh man, he's getting low on stamina. I need to try to remember that because what I really need to do is um, try and use recover on him. I'm not using recover as much as I should. I think I need to just spend a turn moving him closer. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right, he's just going to shield wall, man. I'm getting low on stamina too. Okay, so here's what I was waiting for. We do this, rotate, and now this guy, I still have to worry about him, but his turn hasn't come yet. Wait, how many AP do I need? Okay, perfect. So I take high ground, there we go. Hit him hard. So this guy is going to come back. And that's as far as I go, apparently. He can't come here? Really? Okay. He may be the one with the bad foot. Is that true? Yep. All right. I hate to say it. I think I'm going to have to get ready when we surround him. I'm probably going to need him. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm going to have to move back because this guy will kill him. Got to start working on that, dude. All right. Shield's working so far. Unfortunately, next turn, I don't think I'm getting shield walls. So, you know. Okay. I don't want to hit my own guy. And I don't want to hit the leader. <laughs> I'll risk it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm actually grateful the shield blocked it. Yeah, I'm just really stuck here. Crap. I can't. Well, it's so hard to see. All right, so now I can't do anything. <sighs> I have like no chance of, of really doing what I want to do here with my archers. There's my own guys are in the way and then um, the leaders in the way. There we go. He's running. That's good because we need to get up here. I need to break this guy's morale in the worst way. I mean, <laughs> actually, oh, do I want to move closer? I think I have to give this guy another target besides him because he could easily just end up dead. Let me do this. If I do use him, it's going to be with the dagger. Okay, I do have enough for one more shield wall, so I'm going to do it. Does it cost fatigue to swap? I guess not. All right. You, I'd really appreciate it if you could finish him. He's fatigued. Great. Okay, that makes me happy. Let's do this. This is risky, but we're going to start. Am I a turn too early? I guess I probably am. Let me here, let me do this. Let me wait. Can I kill him? Perfect. Because that affected his morale more. He's literally breaking now. 
So we're going to... Perfect. Okay. So now the whole thing is we just need to finish making him run. Okay, he can't get there. But I can get here. Uh, what I mean to say is we need to close the box, basically. That's it, right? Bump, bump, bump. Now, I have to put somebody here. I don't really want one of the archers. I would much rather it be um, a melee guy. I don't think he can get there, and he can't. Okay, this is kind of funny, but I'm actually going to move him because that'll make it easier for one of these guys. Perfect. All right, we did it. He's hemmed in now. So I don't think you're going to factor into this. And this guy's not officially broken, so I guess I'm not going to... I'm just going to shield wall. Let me start coming up here, though, just in case this guy gets frisky. And the other thing I'll do is I'll start shooting him. Because that will kind of help send him on his way. Yeah, see, now he's officially fleeing. Oh, he can't do anything. Okay. He doesn't have enough stamina to do anything, so... No, no. <laughs> Alright. We want to make sure we do this by the numbers. No mistakes. And he has plenty of stamina, so I just go ahead... Oh, he's not on the guy. My bad. Alright, swap back. Okay, you, sir, have plenty of stamina. That's not how you use it. That was a whiff. Oh, uh, all right. Too bad. So I can't do aim shot and I'm not close enough for the other. Well. Never mind. Okay, back to what I actually care about. Guys, I'm not sure. Oh, I should have used recover. I was being so careful and checking everybody. Okay, his stamina is shot. Let's just do recover. Nice. Got a little free damage in when he tried to run. I'm not above trying to get some more free damage in. Okay, he has plenty of stamina. Nice. Better. And now you, you also have plenty. Oh, that triggered nine lives. I love that it was a little picture of a cat. I never noticed that icon before. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious, actually. Nice. All right, we got there. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get credit for this kill, too. Don't think the guy is going to get away at this point. All right. I don't really want to do a whole lot of extra moving around here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So in terms of level, wow. So Hank is the only one. But that was a really good fight from my perspective. We didn't lose anybody. It was a tough group. We get a heater shield. So I'm, I'm fine getting a little extra melee defense. 
let me just check compared to um to our standard shield it's plus 15 plus 15. so yeah you're getting plus five melee defense um we got another one of these which is nice we got the good a good 140 helm i think we had two of those and then a patched male shirt so he only really had a good helm i was hoping he'd have more what about the mace he has a winged mace 35 to 55 that's a step up for us for sure like what's our um i don't know if i have one of the morning stars out but this is 25 to 55 so you know, same max damage if you compare it to this but by having a um a higher average damage because the low is better okay um let me just check that and we're going to go ahead and equip some of these goodies oh maybe i only had one of these one of the 140s i could have swore i had two i should actually probably shouldn't have sorted that way but whatever um so let me go ahead and give him one and then i wonder if we lost one when somebody got killed because i swear i had two of those before but i guess whether i did or whether i didn't it's kind of immaterial now and um the quaff is going to end up just being kind of a spare i guess and i don't probably need you know, i guess i'll repair this i'm not sure that's really necessary let's repair that for sure and I might as well go ahead and give it to somebody. I'll give it to him. Wait, isn't his fatigue kind of crappy? Woof. Well, that made it crappier, didn't it? So these... Oh, that's weird. Okay, hold up. Oh, was he the one who had lost his shield? Yeah, okay. That's why I went down so much. Yeah, I guess his fatigue is better than some. This guy's is probably the best. Let's go ahead and level him up. So, wow, that's a roll on Resolve. God, I love that. You know what? I may end up using it because this is so crap. Let's go ahead and grab the five. Yeah. He's getting like, if I, if I put one more thing into Resolve, he's probably done after that. But it is really nice to get that little bump. Come on. Uh, all right. Any other gear that we got out of that? Um, everybody else does have a shield, so I don't need to worry about that. Of course, anything they're holding will get um, repaired. Oh, I didn't pick a perk for him. I guess I'll go brawny because we're constantly battling fatigue. So anything that helps is good. Um, anything else in the loot that we want to repair? Um, I think we're okay, but actually, let me do this. He's got, oh, he's got 110. What about you? Nope. All right, so let's do that. Okay, here's a question. Why do I have 110 on a backline guy and I have 95 on a frontline guy? I don't think that makes a ton of sense. And then likewise, I guess I would say, why well, have 90 on somebody when you can have 95? Although, I do like the look of the 90 more. I'm not going to lie. So, we beat our first leader. And while we definitely took some damage in that fight, nobody died. So, that for me is just such a huge win. And we got a bunch of money. So I'm, I'm really happy with how that went overall. I think we can definitely sell some stuff here. I actually got a crossbow, which is nice. Um, there are some fights where I actually have in the past swapped out for a crossbow. Uh, I know that in broad terms, the bow is considered better, but like there's fights where the the enemy just gets up on you really quickly. Like, let's say fighting all orc young. Um, and I feel like having that extra punching power. Also, when your guy has kind of crappy aim. 
Like my hunter right now has kind of crappy aim. I'm half tempted to give him the stupid crossbow. Because so much of the time, his chance to hit is so bad. Oh, this I want to equip. I almost forgot about that. I don't really love these things. 30 to 45 is not terrible, but it's not as good as other stuff we have. And unfortunately, you you don't get the um, the ability to go through armor with this. Like the attack we use when we're trying to, you know, strip guys of their stuff. Alright, I don't think we really need the hat anymore. Alright, cool. Um, yep, so let's go ahead. And I want to equip that weapon. So... I guess, let me check this, 67 and 71, does anybody have better aim than that? No, this guy has as good. So I'll tell you what, since he's using this 30 to 45, 35 to 55, this is a straight upgrade. Now, what's the difference? He has bash versus bash, okay. So the picture changed and the damage changes. That's about it. Okay. Then I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, we only have one true injury. He has cut arm sinew. Okay, so that's really bad. We're gonna pull him out. And who do we wanna put in? We have a number of guys, obviously. 57 at level 3, 58 at level 3, and 67. I don't know about these guys. I may retire one of them, to be, to be brutally honest. I'm just not sure that they're really helping me, and I'm spending money on them all the time. Now, if I lost a couple of guys, I might regret that. All right. And by the way, I did see we got another dagger. So who has the best aim but not a dagger? And it looks like it's him. So let's give him the dagger. And just to make sure everybody has at least a knife. Yes. All right. So you know what? I'm going to sell some knives too because we do not need this many. I'll keep a couple just in case like we lose some somehow, but other than that, I'm not going to worry about it. So, they're well supplied. Do I want to buy anything? We're pretty good on food. Um, two days worth of food. Man, I could buy the furs are pretty good price. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, let's buy some berries. Um, and let's buy some grain because these prices are pretty good. I don't really need another hunting bow unless I find my fourth archer, but I would probably only recruit a hunter for that and he would have it. We're not low on this, but it's a really good price. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two stacks. I know I'm spending a lot, but that's all right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this too. You know what? I have an inventory problem. I need to sell more crap. Part of it is the trade goods, but that's not, that's not the whole of it, is it? So let's get rid of this. I don't need more than, more than that for the quivers. I don't think I need two or three spared hook blades. I probably don't need this many falchions since I have two dark falchions. Yeah, actually I'll just sell both of those. And I don't really need any cudgels. I think I already am using at least one flail. Uh, I don't need that many flails. Probably don't need this many hand axes. 
I like having spare shields, but I probably don't need as many as I have. And then the armor. But that's honestly, that's not that many slots. But I think it's going to have to do for the moment. So let's go ahead and take this quest. Wow, honestly, I guess I've already gone about as far as I should. That was a really long fight. And I've spent a lot of time on inventory management and stuff. So I guess I should not really take this quest right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and wait. But when we come back, we're going to do that quest first thing. And then I think my goal after that would be to say, hey, look, um, let's try to go to a town where I might be able to get a good price for some of this stuff. And, um, you know, kind of clean out my inventory for some of these trade goods. But, all right, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.